the study of volcanoes that's what we're starting with it goes back a long time volcanic disasters have been studied since pompeii which was buried in 79 ad and now a new angle has entered the scene researchers led by the university of cambridge argue that volcanic eruptions of all magnitudes are making climate projections more robust where when a volcano erupts is something that humans cannot can control but volcanoes do play an important role in the global climate system so now let me explain to you how a volcano erupts the earth is composed of layers upon layers and at its core lies the solid inner core this is primarily composed of iron surrounding the inner core is the molten outer core which you can see right above it this is also predominantly composed of iron but in a liquid state both are encompassed by the mantle the thickest layer of the earth which is composed of solid hot rock enveloping the mantle is the crust a thin layer of cool rock composed of separate plates known as tectonic plates the source of molten lava that is ejected during volcanic eruptions originates from these rocks of the mantle that are melt and are pressurized towards the earth's surface through the crust the mantle which constitutes about 84% of the earth's volume is always at a higher temperature than the normal melting temperature that increases the pressure leading the volcano to erupt and to understand how volcano activity may change over time is particularly important as climate change is continues to have direct and indirect effects on how volcanoes behave but have you ever wondered what comes out of a volcano other than lava let's talk about that next the smoke you see billowing out of a volcano is actually a mix of mostly water vapor carbon dioxide and sulfur gases Our planet has 1500 potentially active volcanoes and experts estimate there could be more volcanoes in the ocean than on the earth's surface potentially to be over at least 10000 There are countries that rank extremely high in the number of volcanoes present within their borders worldwide and others in the total of number of active volcanoes Here are the most volcanic places on earth First on the list is Indonesia The country contains so many active volcanoes that experts assert that more than 197 million Indonesians are living within 100 kilometers of a volcano with 9 million residing within 10 kilometers. At the moment Indonesia has 147 volcanoes 129 of which are still active. Chile is the next one that we're going to talk about which is home to 200 over 2000 volcanoes 60 of which have erupted over the last 450 years and according to the global volcanism program chile has at least 122 active volcanoes still next in the list is japan the tallest mountain in japan is called mount fujiyama which is an active volcano more famously known as mount fuji which it last erupted in 1707 japan alone accounts for nearly 1/10 of all the world's active volcanoes with 108 of them currently active more than any country except indonesia and chile next up is papua new guinea png this island has nearly as many active volcanoes as japan png is slightly larger than the state of california except that here you will find at least 94 active volcanoes including a decade volcano in the top 5 list last is ethiopia now making ethiopia the fifth most geologically active country in the world the ethiopian rift hosts nearly 60 volcanoes that are thought to have erupted in the past 10000 years itself As the likelihood of volcanic eruptions are coinciding with climate related issues like storms, droughts, floods or other disasters, this in turn makes the planning and responding to crises more challenging. The researchers say, and I'm quoting here, rather than focusing exclusively on one aspect of volcanology, scientists in future will need to know how climate change is fueling natural disasters to man-made disasters. All right, for more on this, we're being joined by somebody very special. His name is Jonathan Fink, who is the professor of geology at Portland State University and has also conducted this study who joins us from Oregon. Welcome to the broadcast, sir. 
Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Jonathan, how do volcanoes impact the global climate system and how soon is the impact felt? If you can give us a basic understanding of this and all our viewers. Sure. Well, volcanoes definitely have an impact on the climate, mainly through the material that comes out that you were just talking about. The, the ash and the gases that come out can affect the atmosphere and can reflect sunlight away from the Earth, cooling the Earth's surface. Uh, we've had that happen a few times in the past 30 or 40 years uh, where it can make a, a significant difference uh, for a period of uh, a few months to maybe a couple of years. And uh, so that's the impact that the volcanoes can have on climate. There are also effects that climate can have on uh, the activity of volcanoes, mainly by changing the amount of weight that the magma, the molten magma under the Earth's surface uh, feels. So if glaciers melt or if sea level rises, that changes the pressure that the magma is under at depth, and that can make it more or less likely for it to erupt. Jonathan, that was actually what I was going to ask you next. I was going to flip the question and ask you what kind of effects climate change would have on volcanic eruptions, but you've already addressed that before. Also, Jonathan, I would like to ask you, you know, it's you can't assess when an eruption is going to happen. Are there any kind of factors to look out for which nations, the ones like we just mentioned, Papua New Guinea, Japan, Ethiopia, that they should consider before expecting another volcano eruption, so that there's some kind of addressal can be done? Sure. The good thing about volcanoes is that they usually do give some warning of anywhere from a few days to a few years, in contrast to earthquakes, which can happen with very little warning. Uh, many of the most active volcanoes in the world, particularly in places like Indonesia, uh, United States, uh, Italy, have a lot of instrumentation on them that can give us early warnings, either by the shaking of the volcano or the stretching of the surface of the volcano or gases coming out or even sounds that are made. Those can tell us that a volcano is getting ready to erupt. Uh, and so there are a number of different kinds of signals that we can get. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, sir. That was Jonathan Fink, who is a professor of geology at Portland State University, joining us from Oregon. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.